Good morning everyone and happy new year. Um, it is, I can't quite believe that it's 2024, although 2023 did seem like the longest year ever, didn't it? Um, I'm not going to sit here today and talk to you about all of my goals and whatnot. I'm going to talk to you about one or two things today, but I have got a look fantastic order here <clears throat> to talk through with you first of all because the, one of the first things that I want to try and everything is like about health for me this year and just feeling better and looking better because I'm taking care of myself and um, that's kind of the route that I'm going down um, I'm really looking at like reducing inflammation in my body um, if you are new here hello <laughs> uh, my name is Lisa and um I think this year my videos are going to change quite a lot so it's still going to be like this relaxed format I don't think I'll ever at the moment go back to like sit down just talk to you videos because they're not something I feel comfortable with if I'm honest with you I feel so much more relaxed talking to you like this but I just really want to try and help more people with like being their best selves and I think being your best self is not being a perfect version of yourself every single day because that is not sustainable and something I was speaking to my friend about the other day um, is I saw something online where it says consistency is not this it is this so if you for example are starting your new year's resolutions and you've started something you think amazing and then all of a sudden you've stopped it won't be consistency if you stay in that stopped position if you pick it back up again and then you drop off you're going to see more progress from you doing that than you starting something and stopping and thinking well I'm just not going to do any more of that so if you've already broken one of your new year's resolutions don't feel defeated by it because the way especially women the way that our hormones work throughout the month there's no way that you were going to sustain something energy wise motivation wise um so, you know, give yourself that bit of grace and those few days to have that downtime, feel better, and then, you know, slowly start to pick something back up again that you wanted to work on. So, yeah, that's what I want to try and do is help people to feel, live a better life through hopefully something that they could learn from this channel. Because I'm going to try and share what I'm learning along the way and, and yeah, hopefully some things will be beneficial for you um so i know that my skincare first of all from this skincare haul is going to come from the inside out and we are going to ms later to get um this health shop that i'll tell you a little bit more about later it's not gimmicky it's it's you know it's full of all these different good sort of bacterias and um, it's a brand new thing that's coming out at the moment um but i've been mean to do this for a little while so like I said, I know it comes from the inside out. However, what I'm putting on my skin, I have really tried to like save money where I could and started using some products just because I was like, well, I just need a nice moisturiser that doesn't cost the earth. And I guess get quite reactive. I get quite like um, spotty quickly. So, so some of the things I've noticed is I needed new reusable cotton rounds these are just from amazon i think they were eight pounds i will link them for you they come in a little bag i'm sure they're made of bamboo as well so really sustainable use them over and over again you probably use them already and then you pop them in the wash um so yeah i don't mind using my older ones that have got like that tiny bit of staining on to remove my waterproof mascara but if I'm using on my skin, I want really, really, really clean ones. So I'm going to be using one of these in a minute. My skin then as well, I found Aveeno. I started using this on accident, actually. Well, not really on accident, but we buy this for William. It works really, really well on him. Keeps him like nice and hydrated. And when he's got little flare-ups of eczema, works really well. So we use the lavender one on him like the calming one then we did buy one of these on accident like the different kind of um scent uh different sort of type and 
I was like, oh, well, we're not using it on him. I might, I need a moist skin moisturiser at the moment. So I started using it. I was like, oh my goodness, I have got really like tight skin. So that, that feeling where your skin doesn't feel dry to look at or to feel physically, but it just feels uncomfortable and tight. And I'm using Sanex in the shower because I know that's like a balanced body wash. I'm not using anything overly harsh. Um, but yeah, I was still kind of getting that like little bit of a tight feeling afterwards. Anything that I've tried in the shower, that's the best thing that I've used is the Sanex. But this, I started using and I was like, why am I not using this every single day when I get out of the shower? Um, so what I'm finding is I'm not getting that like greasy feeling from it. I'm not getting a like overly thick moisturised feeling from it. This sinks in, my skin feels smooth and I'm noticing I feel comfortable. My skin feels comfortable. So I'm definitely, definitely going to be using that every day after I've had a shower because oh my gosh, it literally, it feels like there's one less thing to make me feel uncomfortable. Um, yeah, hydration as well. Um, it's definitely key for that, isn't it? So when we get into this box now, so I'm going to do my skincare with you this morning, like my lips, if you can tell, like the way I'm talking, they feel really dry. So I do need to grab a like lip balm as well. But I bought quite a few cordially things um, because I've used them in the past. I saw somebody talking about it recently and I was like, yes, why am I not using that? Because it, it worked and it felt really calm on my skin. So I'm going to show you in order of like how I use things. Um, oh, and there's one hair care item that I bought. Talk to you about hair care another day because my hair has grown loads and it's because of the things that I'm using. I've changed it up. I've changed how I'm treating my hair again. Um, but yeah, I use this uh, Dream Coat uh, Supernatural Spray from Colour Wow. I would really recommend this if you have a hair texture like mine um which is like quite dry uh, thick um difficult to keep like the humidity out of i would say um but yeah we'll talk about hair another time so yes most of this is cordially and what you haven't seen me do is i've washed my face i've used the liz earl cleanse and polish um cleanser it doesn't strip my skin and I feel nice and clean afterwards. I did throw all of these out because they were extremely, extremely old, but I've got two packs of these again, so four, and I've already got two new ones in the bathroom. Um, because if I open these up, I think, th I think this is the bit that was making the difference for my skin. So if I show you just like the one of them, they do go extremely like soft. This is just how they come out of the packet. But you can probably see how finely weaved that the muslin cloth is. And this, when you're buffing it over your face, I think is what like, is that polish part. I hate that I've done this three times in this video already. Um, is that, this is that polishing part. And I've already noticed, I've used my other ones for like two days and I've already noticed my skin starting to feel softer and look cleaner so my pores aren't as clogged. Um, yeah, so, you know, I'll slowly build up my little collection of these again. I need a nice little storage space for these to go into. Um, yeah, so let's put my rubbish in here and I'll sort my recycling out when I go downstairs. So first step. I'm going to do is I have got the Cordially Essence um, English would be a good side to it um, Vino Perfect Essence Glycolic and this is just a concentrate it says you can use this it's a brightening essence you can use this like straight on your skin with your fingers or you can use a cotton rind I'm going to use these new cotton rinds because I feel like it's going to give me that like extra cleaning thingy abrasion um in case i've come out of the shower and i've touched things um that may not be sanitary 
so glycolic acid white peony and grape water and this is 150 ml one that i've picked up here I've got, i went for the larger size because i know i've used this before and i knew that i liked it and i didn't break out from it um yeah so the reason that i've gone for the brightening stuff is wow this bright light oh my gosh um you can see that my skin is not in the best condition I haven't got any like Botox or anything like that and so I'm wrinkly I've got all of my dark spots here and these are some breakouts that I've had and you can see like all of my little under the skin bumps there um that have just come out in like the last few weeks so probably diet related as well little dabs of that so the Vino Perfect stuff is supposed to be really really good um at brightening your skin and the one thing that i've got here which is the serum is supposed to be a lot better than vitamin c like a lot more potent so i am bringing back into my routine vitamin c um glycolic acid and also retinol so vitamin c in the day retinol in the night so i just think guys i'm not getting any younger and I need that vitamin C for um, like the brightening and it's also, what's the word, with the toxins in the day that you get. Put the word on the screen if I can think what it is <laughs> when I'm editing this because I can't right now. Um, it's supposed to help basically in the daytime and the retinol is like, um, increases your cell turnover in the night if you're not like familiar with what the two do. So... After I have done that, oh, I've also got Melia, 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 not quite sure if it's Melia or Melia, that have come back here, which is basically like a build up. And you can imagine like tiny white bumps under the skin. Um, and they are right here. So it took me years to get rid of them last time. So we'll see how that goes. I also then picked up the Beauty Elixir for a smoothing, glowing complexion. Um, I loved this when I used this before. And it's I used to use this as like an over my makeup, like freshen up kind of thing, which it says you can definitely do. Let me see here. Inspired by the Elixir of Youth, used by Queen Isabel of Hungary. Um, this skincare visibly smooths features, tightens the appearance of pores. Need that. Um, and provides a burst of radiance to the complexion. Shake before use, close your eyes and mist onto the face before applying your moisturiser and at any time of the day to refresh the skin or set makeup. Nice. So if you've got like, um, oh, 100% natural origin, sorry, I didn't read the rest there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put some on now, but if you get like tight feeling skin, oh, that's lovely. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's really fresh. Not like feeling like it feels fresh, but is it peppermint in there? Yeah, organic grape, orange blossom, rose, organic balm mint and rosemary. Wowzers. Like, it literally feels like I've just taken <laughs> an air waves. That's where it, I just feel awake all of a sudden. Um, Okay, I can't remember if, no, it can't have been. It must have been these two when used together, which is the moisturiser and the serum that I'm going to talk to you about. This really amps up the, um, the output of this. So this is the little thing that's supposed to be even more potent than a vitamin C, which is why I went for it, over a vitamin C. So yes, yeah, so I'm hoping but this stuff is just going to make me feel amazing. I've done my toner and I've just spritzed a little thing on. So that would take me like two seconds if I wasn't speaking to you. Um, so how much of this do I need? Apply morning and evening to face, neck and decolletage before your cream. Doesn't say. So I'm just going to um, just go for it. Let's roll that down. I don't really know how much I need to use. Ooh. Okay. 
Oh, okay, so it spreads. It spreads. So you really don't need, oh wow, I really don't need a lot of that at all. Probably used um, enough actually. Oh, that smells nice and relaxing. Oh, that smells like a beauty treatment. They become quite funny with scents. Since pregnancy, hi random. Um, I feel like I need just a little bit here, which is actually where I've got that. Let me put it onto my finger instead. Okay, that feels really velvety. Like it's sunk into my skin, as you can see. And it feels bouncy, but really comfortable. So I'm really, really happy with that. I'm gonna have to report back to you again um, in another video and let you know how my skin is getting on with these. But this then is the day moisturizer. This is 50 ml. I don't know why I thought this is gonna be larger. Um, but yeah, this is 50 ml, um, instant brightening moisturizer. And when used with the serum is supposed to be like amazing. Love all the little illustrations inside here as well. Something I wanna work on as well is when I'm working on my diet, I knew if you saw a few videos back, I was talking about how I had like more energy and things because the way I was eating, um, I feel like sometimes my brain doesn't work and I know I could blame it on a few things really. I could blame it on my brain getting older. I could blame it on, um, I've had a baby. So your brain like physically changes um, and physiological changes. But I know it's a thing from endometriosis where they talk about like brain fog. I do, haven't got brain fog today because when I have brain fog, I, I cannot string a sentence together. Like it's really frustrating. It's like I'm blank, but I'm not able to access words, certain words that I'm trying to explain things to you today. So I apologize for that. But yeah, I need to work on my vocab, work on accessing those uh, areas of my brain. This anyway is the day cream. I didn't go for the night cream and now I wish I did because I bought a different night cream. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna take a small amount of this. Um, so I'm just gonna take this much first of all because I don't know how much I'm gonna need. And when you've got, oh yeah, that's perfect. That was like one little finger full, isn't it? Which I like because when you buy a product and there's not a lot in the part you think I'm just gonna go through this in about two three days this is not ideal um yeah it's really good when you actually don't have to use a lot of the product and then what I'm not going to apply now because I'm applying it in the evening is the Elizabeth Arden retinol retinol and HPR ceramide um why I'd recommend you buying like things from Look Fantastic as well is because they always, always send through um, like discount codes to your email address. So definitely sign up with them. I pay like the nine pound a year for a whole year of like free delivery as well. Otherwise it's like five pounds for a delivery. Um, so I'm really happy with like how my skin's looking a minute now. It feels very comfortable, which is what we need <laughs> as well as it working. So yeah, this is Retinol and HPR Ceramide Rapid Skin Renewing Water Cream because my skin reacts faster to a water cream than it does, sorry if you're wobbling, I just put my elbows on the table, than it does to like an oil-based, you know, that thicker kind of moisturiser. It doesn't clog my pores as much. Um, and it looks like you would pop your fingers on top, you squeeze, and then it comes out of the middle there. So. I shall get back to you on that. I know you're supposed to gradually introduce um, retinol, like two times a week, first of all. Um, so I'll see, yeah, I'll see how my skin gets on. That's what I mean. I wish I'd brought the, the nighttime moisturiser because if I'm only using that a couple of times a week, I should be using, um, you know, something else then as well, shouldn't I? My final... <coughs> 
product that I had in my Look Fantastic little haul there was a new skincare, new skincare, was a new SPF, sorry. Um, the other SPF that I was using, nothing wrong with it, but I started to break out a little bit from it. Again, don't know if it's diet or if it was stress or hormones or whatnot, but I had never like broken out from that before. And I saw somebody then online saying that they'd changed the formulation of it. So I thought I will try something different. This brand's supposed to be really, really good. Um, pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, it's a Japanese brand, but it's um, Shishido. And this one is a face and body one. Um, it's SPF 50 plus. Um, yeah, so this is supposed to be like an invisible one. It's what well, it says, very high protection, very water resistant. But the technology that it has in it is that if you perspire or if water gets onto your skin or if you get hot, um, it activates it so it becomes even more potent, like the SPF like works even more. Obviously, you still need to reapply SPF every day. I don't under my makeup. <laughs> Um, but you want to have something good under your makeup in the first place, don't you? Um, that's something we need to talk about. Like, what do people do? Because you don't remove your makeup, do you, to put on more SPF on your face? Do you just wear a hat and you wear, like, I've used one of the sprays before. I don't know. So, yeah, so I'm going to pop this on. The thing now that's going to make me buy this again or not is if I put this on and my makeup goes over the top beautifully and doesn't, like make my my makeup separate i shall buy it again we'll shall see so i know you're supposed to use a quite a bit aren't you of spf so this is what we're gonna hope and pray for apologies if i'm not looking directly into the camera as well because like i said i'm on my phone and uh with the iphone I need to look here but if I'm actually looking at the screen which is myself my eyes are here <laughs> so I'm kind of using you as a mirror as well at the moment so I will say at the moment it feels a little bit greasy we'll see how it dries down though because that'll make all the difference but I suppose if this is the last step in your routine and you were to apply a face oil which makeup is supposed to sit beautifully on top of then this would be perfect. Okay, it feels very comfortable anyway. And I feel like I've got a good layer on my skin, so yeah. I'll see um see how it dries down. It doesn't look overly wet or like overly sticky or anything. Yeah, so we'll see. So I'm gonna do my makeup now and then I'm going to curl my hair as well using my Dyson Corral and then I'll come back to you. Okay, hair and makeup done. Um, I could have gone for a more full coverage base because uh, I can still sort of see my blemishes through, but good news is um, it sat really well on top of the SPF. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes throughout the day. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see like how much my hair has grown considering I had cut it into a bob. Um, so yeah, it's grown quite a bit. So like I said, I'll talk to you about that another time. But my outfit today is my Holland Cooper. Let me pace you down a little bit. Holland Cooper um, jumper that has the uh, gold buttons here and here and I also have on because I'm going to be wearing a thinner coat I've also got on a really thin um long sleeved top from H&M underneath because it doesn't add bulk but then you're nice and warm um belt from goodness knows where really affordable belt just kind of like ties it in I've got on my jeans from Primark uh I wanted to wear my Zara jeans, but my Zara jeans have a frayed edge. They've got a, they're a better fit on me, but they're a frayed edge and wasn't kind of what I want to go for today. I'm just going to wear a pair of boots, which I'm pretty sure are from Asda. Just a black, like, Chelsea boot. 
um, so I'm really mixing it up with the sort of affordable and the high end today. So I'm going to pop on my beautiful Holland Cooper coat. So this is a waterproof MAC. This is thinner. Still a MAC, it's still like lined inside, but it's thinner, um, hence why I've gone for two long layers on the top. Then I'm going to have on my uh, Chanel wallet on chain, Le Boy, um, to come with us today. The only problem is, uh, it's a really great size though, isn't it, for a wallet on chain. Um, the only problem is, is my camera doesn't fit in here because of whoop, the size of the pocket here. Just fits my phone and keys and if you can see the size of that there and then I have got um, some money in here that we had for Christmas that we need to bank um, yeah so that's my outfit coat is on um, we buckled it up see because Adam just helped me um, behind today so like so so do buckled up behind so it kind of like keeps it open you haven't got that like um, like dangling down beside you I've also like popped in all my jewellery that I wear like every day which I'm kind of building up a collection very slowly of quality jewellery instead of um, like things that would tarnish I've got loads of like gold bits but I wanted some like quality jewellery so I'm yeah talk to you about that again another time as well but we need to get out the door so let's go welcome to our blank wall those pictures have gone that were up there and this baby is going up there um, and we've also got one in here we're, we're going to take the framing shot today that we want to kind of match up with that to go up can't remember if I showed you our new green hello our new green wall um, yeah like that okay just um, yes yeah. That's right, so all the all the buttons are gone now because they're that side. That's it, so don't push that bit because that's the lens, isn't it? Say hello. Hi. Press <laughs> <laughs> it again. Chicken! <laughs> Okay, we are home didn't vlog whilst we were out and about um sometimes it's hard like with william and stuff when we're shopping however we have the most random shop ever i'll come back to talking to you about the frame in a minute but what if we picture these for margot see how these get on not sure if she likes playing fetch but we'll have a go this because we need a nut to go on William's swing set that is there. That was his Christmas present. Hi! Do you want to play fetch with Margo? Do you want me to open them? Margo? Yeah, shall I open them for you and you can play fetch with Margo? You can throw it for her. Yeah? And Margo is coming. There she is! Hello! She's excited. It's tricky with one hand. Yeah, let me put the camera down. Ready? Whoa. 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 There you go. Do you want to throw it for her? <laughs> three of them! So I give you all three. There you go. I'm going to go and throw them for Margo and say, Fetch Margo! I'm going to go and throw them. Bye. Yay! Also picked up um, a pair of gloves. These are Adam's ones. I've got really similar ones. And um, they were two pounds because we found out when we were doing things at the back, we needed a little bit of protection for our hands. Um, oh, mine are looking a bit better actually, but I don't know if you can see the outline there. I'd taken the top of both of these fingers off from touching the wood that was wet outside. Adam drilled through his finger. Didn't you? It doesn't look so bad, but it's uh, about half a centimetre taller than my finger. So, yes, there's that. Also, then from. Also, from um, Pets at Home. She's eating it. That's okay. It's her toy. William, it's all right, babe. It's Margot's toy, isn't it? She's allowed to eat it. She's allowed to play with it. Don't worry, okay? 
Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. So these were recommended as hideous as they look um, by. I'll give you one in a second. By um, the breeder that we picked Margot up from. Apparently they're really good. This is for Peter along. Sorry, it's out of focus with this because I keep forgetting to do the hay box order, so I need to do the hay box order because it's much <laughs> more um, money efficient um, than <laughs> no, I'm just a date in a sourdough French stick. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon? Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Tripod. Um, yeah, so I left the print there that we wanted framed and asked for the same frame as this with a similar um, mount but the guy that we spoke to last time wasn't there was he it basically the man that was in there was normally upstairs putting the frames together and the guy that talks you through like the type of frame that you need and the colors the tones and all that to complement your artwork wasn't there and he was like, um, I think this one's like, this frame's about like 70 pounds. I was like, definitely didn't pay 70 pounds to have this frame last time. So he's gonna get back to us, but I've left the print there. And uh, yeah, he's got my details and he's gonna come back. Thank you. Oh, two of them. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed. It won't cost too much to get the other one framed and they can go side by side in the living room. But I love this so much. I really do. And before I show you the rest of what we've picked up today, not the best lighting at the moment, but my makeup is sitting okay on top of this skincare. You need to put in toilet? I do for you. Too late. Okay, back from upstairs, we have a. <laughs> have you eaten half? Of it? I haven't eaten half. <laughs> literally... That's how big the bag is. And this, the thing is up here. Right, hang on. <laughs> no. That's how big the bag is. So I've eaten we I've did eaten have. Quarter. I've eaten a quarter, but mm. in my defence, there's that as well. So. But you have no defence just because there's another one. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, that's exactly. Open it. How do I open it? You just mean the um the ladder? The la doesn't come off this one. Baby just goes up and down the ladder. We don't need batteries for that one. That one hasn't got batteries, babe. We we don't need batteries for that one, William. Yeah, it's alright, dude. We did have a sourdough forget, but we've also got a sourdough loaf as well, um, which is very nice to have with avo and eggs, isn't it? It's very delicious. Which of which, haha, as modelled by Adam. Um, do you want to explain? So. We haven't eaten eggs for an extremely long time, have we? We've been sort of like veggie vegan for a very long time. And then for some reason I was like craving just an egg and didn't want to just go and get eggs just knowing that they wouldn't be treated very well and all that stuff. So, do you want to explain what, how you find things about these ones? Yeah, so we Googled, well, I Googled about kind of like the best eggs and then people kind of gave scores of like taste and things like that but then yeah. it was more ethical kind of things we were looking at and i think that if it wasn't anything ethical in it we wouldn't have bought eggs again really would we yeah so i can't remember the websites but it has like an ethical list of scoring on the welfare of the animal how they treat it but also the effect on the environment as well so yeah. if they kind of um into recycling or renewable energy or anything like that um so there was a list on there, but it had different things about like honey, even like takeaway food, doesn't it? And things like that. So it's got a list of everything, be, uh, even meat as well. So if you want to buy meat, then you can say which is more ethical of the choice. Yeah. So when I looked on the list, it had like all different supermarkets and things like that. But then 
what came second was the Clarence Court ones. When I went on the website, and there's quite a few articles, I think it's one of the independents saying that they live on hundreds of acres of free land mm. and they don't slaughter them. And they just basically produce, they've got so many chickens, they've got enough produce to keep up. Yeah. They obviously cost a bit more to have the liberty of it, but then they've been going since like 1800s, the family. Um, so they scored highest for the year. Uh, that's okay, I've got back in now, dude. Yeah, it doesn't fit inside that one, does it? It goes no, inside the mantle. Was... So ethically, it was just a case of they were treated the best. Um, yeah. And it's like a generational thing, and they do, and they they quite open about it, and they go on news articles, and you go on their website, and it shows like where they're living, and they got full forests to go around, and you know housing. Yeah. They're not kind of kept in and let out back in. They just ring. Well, free range, yeah. literally. So we decided if we were going to eat them, we'd mm. go with those. That kind of like felt like the And they the even best scored first. higher than some vegan egg replacers yeah. because it was showing the comparison that some vegan egg replacers were just a couple of like, um, not as ethically, ethically good for the environment. So then even though they might be an egg replacer, that they wouldn't be the best ethical kind of thing. because of like where they've been taken from Ooh, and how totally it's been reduced in the factory. So, um, Oh, I think the only ones that scored higher then were the Riverford ones, weren't they? Yeah, so which we'd never fun. had, like, the Riverford... we never had Riverford eggs at all. So they scored um, higher, they had exactly the same as Clarence Court. Yeah. Um, but they were, instead of being fed normal food that you'd have for chickens, they were being fed the organic veg from Riverford. So Riverford's doing organic veg and feeding oh. it to the chickens, so we kind of had a higher score just purely on what they were fed. Yeah, so that's what we're going to go with for a little while. If you do want to have eggs, then that obviously is a good option. And they sold them in M&S, in Waitrose, Waitrose. Ricardo, yeah, as well if you shop with Ricardo like we do. Um, but obviously speaking about like sustainability and things, I know I've spoken to you a few times about Riverford, but if you are new here, um, Riverford really support farmers. Um, they do. You can have different types of boxes. They do do meat as well and dairy if you if you um, want that. But everything is sustainable. They also do like seasonal veg, and it just always tastes so delicious. So in our we have I think this is the family favourites box, possibly the medium. I'm not sure if it's the medium or the small box. Um, but we have got a big bag of spinach here. Pretty sure this is not plastic either. This is like compostable. I'm sure it is. Yeah, so that is compostable. That's amazing. And the packaging as well. So if there's any plastic packaging, that's compostable as well. That's very good. Um, yeah, so then these, I am at the moment, they said you can either like send them back, chuck them in your compost or in your cardboard. But at the moment, I'm keeping these for the hopes that what we plant is going to produce something. Um, so we have got some tomatoes, we have got some, um, are these button head? What would you call these ones? Oyster? No, I have no button idea what. Mushrooms. Button mushrooms. Um, some courgette there, some cucumber. We've also got carrots, broccoli, and a squash by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, so very, very tasty. And you can see that there's quite a bit in that box as well which is fabulous and then from M&S then we let me pop you here quickly so you can see. Um, we have got so I showed you the bread that we got did you want that in there sorry I didn't know where you wanted that or you're going to eat the rest of it no, I'm going to have to cut this in half sorry that's fine um, we did pick up like some just random bits for tonight because I think as of tomorrow we were saying I, re I really need to sort out what I'm eating and like ultra processed food wise. So we have got some vegetable spring rolls to have, some bubbling squeaks, so it says shredded potato, savoy cabbage and onion, lightly seasoned and fried. And some really random mix here, but um, breaded vegan fish fingers to try. I feel like I'd like that with peas and like a tartar kind of. I'm not eating. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm trying to do some <laughs> Art Deco okay. half eaten bread. 
Um, we've got some sweet corn. We've got some mature cheddar and spring onion crisps. Then picked up two of these, which Adam spotted. They look really nice. Reminds me actually a little bit of the Dalesford ones that we've had before. Yeah. Don't know why. So they do a little, they have a little dirty thing in Sainsbury's as well. But um, probably the best ones I've seen, even as they do them. The one in Cardiff has got a lot better choice than even the Marks and Spencer's one, so. Yeah, kale grain and sweet potato salad. So that looks really very nice. And finally, I think I showed you the sweet corn. What we went to the big M&S for in Culverhouse Cross. They were, these were all sold, sold out. So I was talking to Julia about a gut shot and Zoe, who I've done like the health testing with, have teamed up with M&S and they'd sent through a code for 40% off this gut shot. And I'm not really a person that's like into gimmicky things. I don't really take like shots or anything like that. I just don't, don't like it. Um, but it piqued my interest because it is a gut shot. I'd say a bajillion times better than a Yakult. So it's over 5 billion live cultures from 14 different strains. So not just the stomach of one man. <laughs> um, it's milk, milk kefir with berries. So from the email that I read, um, what's it have in it? Pomegranate, berries, what was the green thing I said to you? I can't remember. Yeah. Um, and it sounded like it tasted really nice. It's supposed to be sort of like a one a day or like a, a kickstart to your, like your gut bacteria. And the way that Zoe explains it is if you have a wide range of fruits and vegetables in your diet, your good bacteria in your stomach outweigh the bad bacteria, which is just better for everything, like mental health, blood pressure. It just, the, the way that they talk to you about all of the health stuff, is amazing. So I'm gonna have one. Do you want to have one or do you want to have half each? I've got this six there. Yeah, yeah but what if I don't like it? You need to try it with me. Um yeah but they were as I was saying sold out in the big one and then on our road oh it's pink um there's a like a little one oh it's nice it tastes like um raspberry yogurt um and I went in there and they had some in there so we are here. Hang on. It's gonna come out the out of the lid. No, I don't Hmm. Tastes really nice. Do you want some? Okay. You sure? Yeah, I'm full you of sourdough. Full of sourdough. So you've gone with ultra processed food. It's not ultra processed sourdough. Isn't it? It's processed, not ultra processed. I'll have to Google it. But I can highly recommend. It is very nice.